Welcome to Timeless Truth with Pastor Jim Thomas, a resource of the Village Chapel in Nashville, Tennessee. For the next couple of weeks, we'll be featuring a few of our favorite previous episodes of the podcast. In October, we'll begin a new book study on the Gospel of Mark. Also, as you're considering your plans for next year, TVC will be embarking on a Journeys of Paul tour, July 7th through 16, 2024. We'll step into history and walk where the Apostle Paul journeyed as we visit Philippi, Athens, Corinth, Ephesus, and many other locations. This tour will bring the scriptures to life with meaningful worship services and Bible studies with Pastor Jim. You can learn more at thevillagechapel.com slash tour. Now, here's today's study. Good day, folks. Pastor Jim Thomas from the Village Chapel here in Nashville, Tennessee, with your daily devotional. I want to read uh, probably the most famous song lyric of all time, and then a little bit of commentary from Tim and Kathy Keller. Uh, they have this daily reader through the Psalms, uh, daily devotion uh, in the Psalms, and it's called the Songs of Jesus. Those of you watching can see the cover there. Uh, if you're listening, I'd like to read Psalm 23, um, which you will possibly have memorized. Um, there are a variety of English translations, of course. This one that the Kellers refer to is the NIV. So I will uh, I'll read from that, and we'll read the entire Psalm 23. It's uh, it's just six short verses, but probably nowhere on the planet will you find more comforting, hope full lyrics than these. And it's one of the reasons why this psalm in particular might well be the most um, well-known and most famous song lyric of all time. You songwriters especially uh, take notice of what is said here about God and to God. Uh, Psalm 23 goes exactly like this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy or love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And uh, Tim and Kathy, uh, of course, in this book, The Songs of Jesus, these are the ancient songs, the the, the book of Psalms would be the, the hymnal, if you will, of first century Judaism. And uh, when Jesus walked the planet, uh, he indeed would have uh, been quite familiar with these words uh, from Psalm 23. Here's what the Kellers have to say. Peace in the midst. And they're going to focus in on one particular line from Psalm 23. Um, they say, God has a celebration meal with us. Not after we finally get out of the dark valley, but in the middle of it, in the presence of our enemies. You'll remember that line, I believe. You prepare, that's verse five. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. What's so important about that? Why is it important that the meal is actually in the presence of uh, the psalmist's enemies? And that's a, that's a good question to ask. The Keller say he wants us to rejoice in him, in God, in the midst of our troubles. And they ask the question, is our shepherd out of touch with reality? And their answer is hardly. Simple word. <laughs> Jesus, say Tim and Kathy Keller, is the only shepherd who knows what it is like to be a sheep. And uh, you'll remember that image of Jesus as uh, the Lamb of God, uh, and he the ultimate Lamb of God, the one who came uh, to lay down his life for the sins of the world, to take our place, even in that uh, week of uh, called Passover, in that feast of Passover, um, uh, dying on the cross, taking upon himself 
uh, our sins, your sin, my sin, uh, so that we might be reconciled to a holy and righteous God, not based on our merit, but based on what Christ has done for us. So uh, is our shepherd out of touch with reality, the Kellers ask? And their answer is hardly. Jesus, the only shepherd who knows what it's like to be a sheep. He understands what we are going through and will be with us every step of the way, even through death itself, where all other guides turn back. And so, you know, you get the image there of an old movie or TV show you'd seen uh, somewhere along the way where the where the guides are, are leading a, a group of people on uh, you know on a, on a journey through the the forest or the jungle or um, you know if it's Raiders of the Lost Ark and they're going through some tunnel or something like that and they just the, the guides at some point just get so afraid that they're like yeah we're not going any further you you know, and they turn back and he's saying Jesus uh, the killers rather are saying, uh, when all other guides turn back, Jesus uh, continues with us even through death itself. Well, um, they do such a great job in just these short little punchy commentaries uh, on a psalm like Psalm 23. And many of you, uh, as I say, you, you would have been familiar from the downbeat of the first words, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. Um, that last half of verse one in the NIV is I lack nothing. Um, in other English translations, I've heard it said a, a couple of different ways. The Lord is my shepherd, uh, I shall not want. Perhaps you've heard that before, and I think the New American Standard has it said that way. Uh, I also love Eugene Peterson's uh, common, or his paraphrase of Psalm 23, where he says, The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. It's another way of saying that, or I don't need a thing, you know, um, because when we have God, uh, when we have that kind of spiritual intimacy with the one who made us, with the one who designed us, with the one uh, who knows what's best for us and who has secured uh, our salvation for us, um, the one who knows us best, the one who loves us the most, wow, we can rest in that kind of sovereign love. They have a a prayer here, and if you're watching on YouTube, you can see at the end of each of these uh uh, daily uh, devotions in the Psalms from Tim and Kathy Keller in the book, The Songs of Jesus. There's a prayer, and I'll use that as our prayer as we close out today's daily devotion. Lord, if I fed on your love, grace, and truth, I would not be in any want. In this life, I will never attain that, yet you are always with me, and someday you will lead me to my true country, the home I've been looking for all my life. Help me rest in that. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to today's study. Take a moment to leave a review and share this episode with friends and family. You can stay connected by signing up for our newsletter or follow us on social media. At the Village Chapel, we believe God's Word is unique in its source, timeless in its truth, broad in its reach, and transforming in its power. For more resources or to support our ministry, visit our website, thevillagechapel.com.